Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN. Well, we've got stocks up again. Uh, well, actually, the NASDAQ is still basically unchanged, down a little bit. Got the S&P up about 20. Dow Jones up several hundred against its three or four stocks that are making a move, but that still goes up, and that's what counts. And, of course, uh, we have the Russell up a little bit also. We have Treasury bonds are down a little bit. Gold still uh, meandering to the downside, but just very slightly. The big news, folks, was the fact that the euro and the British pound and uh, all of these other currencies related to the U.S. dollar were hit pretty hard today. And we were expecting that because we focused about that in the newsletter over the weekend, the fact that if we broke those lows of Friday, because it was a 382 retracement, that it was probably going to go a lot lower. And that is, in fact, uh, what happens. It doesn't always work that way, but that's pretty much it. The news is pretty positive around the world. There doesn't seem to be any uh, concern about the uh, Ukraine situation with Russia. Uh, that's certainly a war by any stretch of the imagination. And, of course, because the Russians hit the Odessa uh, ports today, that has caused the price of soybeans and soybean oil, especially soybean oil, to go high, go very, very high. It's up about uh, 300 points, which is a huge amount. It's about 8% in one day, which uh, cooking oil is a very, very important to all of us folks, especially uh, anybody that's in the uh, that that part of the world because they – they use it so much in their cooking, just like we do, just like we do here. But even there, it's even more prevalent because they don't use lard and stuff. You know, I, you might not believe this, but they still use lard here in uh, Tucson quite a bit. Not at the restaurants that I go to, but they still sell it in the restaurants or in the supermarkets and stuff. So it's still uh, very, very important as a as an oil seed. Um, we're going to be back here right after the break. And I talk to you about some of these things that are happening. They're very exciting, and we expect them to continue to be. So let's be patient here. And when we get a chance, we're going to have uh, our guest next tomorrow will be, I believe, uh, Jeff Huge. And then Paula Webb will be on uh, Wednesday. On Thursday, we're going to have uh, Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. And on Friday, with a tiny bit of luck, we're going to have Peter Elidi. So we'll find out. Uh, if that's going to be the case. So that's what we're looking at here. So we'll be right back after we take a break here.